Hey everybody, Rosematter here, and welcome to the last two episodes of Fate Zero and my conclusion to my reaction series of this anime. I am so excited to see how this is going to end. So the last couple of episodes, we lost two characters in two very different ways. Uh, we lost Iris in a very sudden and just understated way with her and, and Kyrie talking where she told Kiri that him and uh, Kiri are nothing alike, and that just seemed to piss him off, so he just reached over and snapped her neck, and that was the end of Iris. Uh, meanwhile, Ryder, at least, uh, as sad as it was to see him fall, at least he went out, uh, you know, like a true badass. He went out like a hero. He, you know, faced death with, like, pride and with honor, and uh, that moment at the end with Waver where he said that he was going to basically, he had to live to uh, spread the word of Ryder and, and live in Ryder's steed. And Gilgamesh, uh, you know, showing him some respect and and that was just a really sweet moment. And I was just like, oh, Ryder and Waver were just so good. And it was sad to see Ryder go down, but at least Waver made it out alive. And then, and then we also learned the identity of Berserker, uh, during his fight with Saber, and it is Lancelot, who was a knight who fought alongside uh, Saber, and you guys explained, you know, the history behind where there is that animosity between Lancelot and between, you know, King Arthur or uh, the Saber version of King Arthur, so there's obviously, uh, there's some history there, some bad blood, and I mean, I think we all know what's gonna happen, we all know Berserker's probably going to end up dying because at the end of the day, it's leading up to that big fight between Kyrie and Kerry, Saber, and Gilgamesh. Like, that's that's how this is going to go. Like, they're basically the two main characters. From the beginning, they have just been uh, hunting each other, so we're going to see the culmination of that, and I am so excited. Um, and also, I hate to say it, but uh, with Berserker... Probably going to die. I'm guessing Karya. He's not doing well. Like he's probably end up gonna die too because his body just can't handle much more of this. So, as much as I like Karya as a character, I just want him to be put out of his misery. To be honest. So we're gonna go ahead. We are gonna watch the end of this anime. I'm so excited to see how this is going to wrap up. I have a feeling, probably not well for the characters. I feel like it's gonna be bittersweet. We're, of course, going to lose some people, and uh, this whole thing with this Holy Grail, we saw how wicked it was when we saw Iris in the Holy Grail. It just it was like this black, evil thing, and I'm just like, I feel like even if somebody wins, it's not going to be good. I don't know how else to describe it. I just have a bad feeling about this Holy Grail. I feel like it's just an evil thing that should not be messed with, and the winner is probably going to regret, <laughs> regret it. So let's go ahead, let's watch the end of this, and then I will tell you guys how I felt about this series as a whole in these episodes. So let's go. Wait, what? We're just... Okay, we're just... Okay! It... It... Wow, this is... When did they even... Okay, this is happening so much faster. There's no buildup or anything. Okay, okay, I'm d I'm down for this. This is awesome. And they're just fighting one on one. Okay, wow, that was like, we're what? Not even a minute in, and I'm just like, okay. I'm like, I'm almost like, did I miss an episode? <laughs> I mean, we did see like. The build up at the end of the last episode with um, Kyrie, where he sent those flares out to basically lure people to his location. Be like, here I am, come get me. Obviously, that's meant for Carrie specifically, but I just, I didn't think we were just gonna be like, okay, they're facing off. Okay, they're about to fight. Let's go. I, I mean, we've got two episodes to go. They have a lot of stuff I imagine they have to cover, so they're like, we just gotta go, go, go. <laughs> And obviously because um, their two servants, well, no, no, Gilgamesh just fought Ryder. Yeah, I love that it's just also, there's just Karya as well, he's just also there. Uh, but that's not who we care about right now, we care about these two. I was gonna say, Gilgamesh just fought Ryder. No, yeah, so... But with these two guys, they're like, we don't want our servants to do our fighting for us. We're going to fight one-on-one -on -one like men with a grudge against each other. And at this point, 
Carrie doesn't know about Iris's death, I'm assuming. I don't believe we saw that at the end of the last episode, so... Alright, I'm excited, let's go, let's go. Okay, I, well now we're going back to these two. Yeah, dude's not looking great. I don't think he's gonna make it through this. Saber's not doing well right now, but come on, Saber's not gonna fall here. She can't. No. I think the answer is yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Man, this is like freaking action packed. All right. Yeah, he's just like, you thought that was going to work on me? Woo! Some Matrix stuff going on here. Oh, this is awesome. Damn! Kiri, I don't like you as a character, but, like, you're pretty cool when you're fighting, I gotta admit. Oh boy, okay. Now this will be, in, like, I legit don't know who's going to win this one. It could go either way. It seems like Harry definitely has the upper hand right now. The fact that he's not expending his, uh, his mana like Carry is every time. Carry uses his magic abilities here. Ooh, that's good. Not good. Not good. Oh, oh, it's not looking good for either of them. Wouldn't that be wild if neither Carrie nor Carrie won? It was actually Karia coming, like, from behind, like, the underdog actually won. Oh. Oh, shit. I mean, she's already dead at that point. There's the grail. There's the grail, that's right, because she's the homunculus. She's the, uh... Okay. Okay, well, <laughs> oh, oh, he actually pinged him in the head. It looked like. This is like super hot right now. <laughs> like this is this is so cool. I wonder at that moment with Saber if she's because she's connected to Iris that she knew that Iris was like dead at this point and had turned into the Grail. Oh, woo! All right, the tides are turning a little bit. Damn! <laughs> Is that the hand that has his command seal on it? Is that going to affect it? Oh, we got yeah, he got hit in the head and the arm. Damn. That's right, he's got that uh, trump card there. It's a good thing that Iris gave that to him before she went. Oh. Eight spare command seals, damn. Oh, 
Ooh, ooh, that looked painful. Yeah, this thing does not look like something that I want to be fucking with. Like, this grail, this thing is evil, man. This is like, this is a cursed item. Damn, yeah, that's so cool, though. <laughs> Cares like Neo at the end of the Matrix, just like doesn't even look like he's putting any effort into it at all. The interesting thing too is, I thought these two were gonna have like a big, like a big like monologue, or they were gonna talk to each other beforehand. Nope, they just got right into fighting. They have not spoken once this entire fight so far, because they're just trying to kill each other. That's all that matters right now. Yeah, that look look at how it's like yeah it's all bright and shiny now but like all the goo coming out of it what iris saw when she died what the grail is whoa that's cool and uh oh oh shit oh well that's it he just okay wow that was so quick Wow. Well, I mean, it's, uh, as I said, Berserker and Karia were not going to survive this, especially because Karia really seemed to be... No, oh, right at the end, he actually got to speak. I'm... I hate to say it, but I'm glad Karia seems to be dead, because... His life was just suffering, and hopefully he can have some peace now. And I mean, he was like, oh. Oh shit, he's back at the island again. What in the world? I'd share, or uh, Sherry? Shirley? Oh, Iris. Yeah, that looks not good. It looks like the end of the world is about to happen. Yep. So is Kiri in the grill also having a conversation with someone as well? Okay. We're gonna figure out what is his wishes for no more death, right? Or peace, basically.
Oh boy, this is like a, um... What is that term? It's like the streetcar or like the train thing? Where it's like you have to decide, you know, like you... You have to send it down one way to kill people. Oh man, they're making him like, they're giving him these philosophical things about like, you want to save people, how do you go about it? Oh. Will. Jesus, wow. Now he's being, like, faced to deal with... Oh my gosh, this is so fucked up. It's not just that simple, it's like, I choose to save the one with the most. This whole thing of, like, would you rather kill a hundred strangers or, like, Five people that you know. What would you do? Whereas Carrie, who's just like, as we've seen, he's willing to kill people he's close to to try and save as many people as possible. And he's just seeing how that is gonna go. It's just like, oh yeah, you wanna try and save as many people as possible? Oh, wow, he's just being confronted with this. Is this the Grail just confronting him with how he does this? It's like, for him, it's the easy decision, right? Damn. And the fact that they're putting it here where it all started, all because he couldn't kill one person, Shirley. And I love that Shirley won. It's almost like she was the first. She was the one. This is pretty cool, the fact that it's just like going back and just making him realize what his wish really means, what his dream means. Wait, on wait, what? <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He has to... Ch <gasps> to say... Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. This is really... Damn. I knew this thing was evil. This grail. And of course he killed Maya. Of course.
Wait, bring back the daughter. Does that imply the daughter's dead? Wait, what? Oh! What the f- Whoa! What? What the fuck? What? And he's gonna shoot her too, isn't she? Isn't he? Oh my god. Oh my god! What the f- What in the world? Oh my gosh. Is this what he has to do? He has to kill them to save- I am so confused right now. What in the world? Please explain, Carrie. I- maybe I'm too dumb. Is he just rejecting what the Grail is telling him? He is, too. Oh, wow. So that's this thing, he had to choose between the two of them or the whole world? Oh, jeez. I don't understand that name, that Angra. Wow. This is crazy. Jeez. Oh, gosh. She had to get herself choked out twice, didn't she? Damn, that was intense. Whoa. Security in the... All right, so he's in the grill. He doesn't even know what he wants, though, does he? So he doesn't really have a wish for the grill. Okay, there. All right. I knew it. I knew this thing. It's just... There has to be a catch, right? Oh, what? Okay. <sighs> There's, wow, that was, that felt too easy. <laughs> what? No, there's still another episode. There's still another episode, right? <laughs> like, I didn't skip something, did I? I didn't actually go to the end. He just killed him so simply. Ah, uh, Gilgamesh. Of course, we have to have the finale between these two as well. Oh, well, this is not looking good. So maybe Kiri's not actually dead because he Gilgamesh is still still going. Yeah, it's not looking good. Oh boy.
He's actually going to use the seal. All right. Oh, shit. All right, here we go. Oh, to destroy the grail. Wow. 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 Well, I think Carrie realizes how evil that thing is. It shouldn't- it cannot be given life. Damn. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was an amazing episode. Damn! Holy crap. There's, like, so much that went on in that episode that I was just like, what? Alright, we have one more to go. I'm- let's just jump right into it, because I need to see how this ends. Ah, oh, poor Saber. I'm curious, yeah, like, what happens if the Grail is destroyed? Is that it? Like, is that it? There's no more Grail Wars after that? If there's no Grail... To be one. I know this is the prequel, so I'm just curious if, like, with that, uh, what it goes, what happens from here? Oh, what, 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 what? That doesn't look good. Oh, that looks real bad. Well, so much for keeping things inconspicuous, I guess. Oh, oh no. Oh boy, okay, well... Did Kerry just, like, fuck everything up by, like, trying to save people by destroying the Grail? Now he's doomed everybody because he's, like, unleashed it? Onto the world, or were this, was this just going to happen regardless? Is this what happens when it's given life? Is it just... Wow. Whoa, God, like, yeah, thousands of people are dying right now, aren't they? That's right, she said that before, didn't she? Like, how's he gonna... Now he has to, like... He's doomed people, he was trying to help people, and he's just fucked it up. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. This is like the exact opposite of what he wanted to happen. Oh, jeez, he's just trying. Oh boy. 
So my thing is because they talked about she's she's still alive, right? Like she's she's still alive. The little girl, please. Like in the last episode, they made it seem like she was dead. Oh shit! Wait, he's still alive? What in the world? I am so confused right now. <laughs> what is going on? Is he actually like is he dead and just imagining this? Oh my gosh, is he actually alive? <gasps> I'm so happy if that's the case. Did he do one good thing? Wait, what? Wait, okay, I think somebody in the comments said in the last episodes that- Or before, that she's still alive. Maybe? This is all in his head. This isn't real. This is just what he was hoping for. Yeah, this is just- Oh my gosh, what's going on? Oh, and- Oh boy. Oh no, he's going- oh no, he's sliding down into the bugs. Oh, he's gonna get eaten alive. Oh god, never mind. At least- wow. Wow. Damn, that's cold. What? I like for a moment, I was like, maybe. Maybe he made it out and, and is okay. And he's alive. Of course he is. I, I had a feeling he wasn't dead. Oh, damn! Uh, hi! Hello. <laughs> Worst things to wake up to. <laughs> Damn. I mean, he's, he's a bastard, but uh, he's a good-looking bastard. <laughs> well, I guess someone... got something good out of this, I suppose. I wasn't imagining, like, the the whole city being destroyed to happen at the end. I had a feeling it was going to be, like, bittersweet. It wasn't going to end well, but... Wait, what? He's a zombie. <laughs> okay, so we got, like, zombie Kyrie. <laughs> Naked Gilgamesh. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow, okay, including Saber. Well. This is what he wanted? Wow, okay. This is what he wanted, huh? Okay, that's what he wanted. He wanted the world to be destroyed? Wow, okay. I like to imagine that he wanted this just to make Carrie sad. Meanwhile, Carrie's running around trying to save people, and he just destroyed everybody. Jeez.
That name. What is that name? What does that mean? Is there something I'm missing here about that? I'm gonna. Is that the name of the, the Grail? I'm gonna have to look that up and see what that's about. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he definitely doesn't look as happy about this as Kiri. Yeah, he's just broken. He's like, I don't give a shit anymore. It's just like, I'm just trying to help. Just trying to save people, because he probably feels like he caused this by destroying the Grail. So that's what, that's, that's what I'm confused about, is like, I assumed that by destroying the Grail he caused this, but then Gilgamesh also said that Kiri won the Holy Grail War and this is what he wanted. Hmm. Oh. Oh, so he's doing. Oh, he's doing like what uh, Natalia did for him. He's probably going to take this kid in, right? Oh, oh, well, wait, that's it? No, no way. Okay, I was like, no way. Waver! Waver! Okay. Yay! Oh. Uh, oh, he's pretending that Ryder is still alive. I'm glad we get to see him. I kind of forgot all about Waver. Get to see the aftermath of all of this happening. Oh, is he gonna go and spread the word? He's gonna be, uh, what was, uh, the thing he said he was gonna be Ryder's... His vessel? Not his vessel. No. No. <laughs> At least we have some happiness here. Aww. <laughs> That's right, because he learned about how the two, they, you know, their actual kids where they never visit and they liked having Waver there. So it's basically just like an excuse being like, I just want to, I'll stay with them and make them happy. And people told me that apparently there's a spinoff with, uh, that take, like, where Waver is... A detective or something he's like like a one of the main characters so i'm just like that's something i'm pretty interested in because i really like his character so it's nice that this isn't the end of his story
Oh. I want Waver to wear the shirt, and for him, it's basically going to be like a dress. <laughs> This extra, 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 extra large shirt. <laughs> What? <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. This is, uh, Tokiomi, right? Wow, how fucked that up? He killed Tokiomi, now he's like... <laughs> now <laughs> he's the priest at his own funeral. And he's taking on Rin, isn't he? I said this. Oh my gosh, it's like we get to see the aftermath of this. Like, I'm gonna take in the kid who, whose parents I murdered. Is he gonna train her too? Wait, so the mom is alive. Okay, that's- yes, so someone did say that in the comments. Okay, so she is alive. I mean, at least she doesn't have- Oh boy. Oh, but obviously she is not well. Oh, Karya really did a number on her. Oh, beast. She's basically like a husk. Oh no. Oh, poor, poor woman. Jesus, she is, she's just like... Like Karya cut off all of the air to her brain. Fucked her up. Damn. Oh boy. It would almost be better, I feel like, if she was... dead. And Brynn's gotta take care of her mother like this? Oh god. I guess at least Kiri isn't taking her in completely, because her mom's still technically alive. Wait. Is that... is that the... is that what he used to kill Tokiomi with? That... That... is that it? Is that true? That's fucked up if that's it. He's giving her the blade that he killed her father with. And he, like, is smiling about it. Oh god, you are messed up, dude. Okay, what about Carrie? Are we gonna see, like, the aftermath of him- oh, Saber! Of him taking in this kid, I'm assuming. We get to see the aftermath of what it's like for a servant. Yeah, so I didn't know about that. I didn't know the history about that, so... Thanks, you guys, for letting me know about... ...about why, uh, he had such a grudge against her. So from what I remember, he fell in love with Guinevere, who was King Arthur's wife, and he was almost angry that King Arthur was not angry at him, and felt like he wasn't... Yeah, he didn't get to atone for his 
is sin. Oh, and that's what she was so unsure of is like, did the people who fought with me actually respect me and love me? Oh, okay, so Ilya was alive, but now he doesn't get to see her again. Jesus. And Kyrie just gets to just go on with his life, and he's having a great time. So, yes, there's this kid. Oh. Also, he's using that house, it looks like, for, like, an orphanage or something. Or is it just for that one kid? He adopted Shiru. Shiru. So it's continuing on with uh, Natalia. But probably not to turn him into, like, a... You know... <laughs> an assassin. It's just so sad that he's just like, he tried to save so many people, but at least he got to save the one. So there's that at least. Aww. And this is it. This is the prequel. The prequel's ending, right? And then we've got it after this. Will Saber be, like, if they do the Holy Grail, Holy Grail War again? Will he get Saber? This kid can, will, uh, he'll become, like... Although I can't see Carrie wanting this kid to, like, join the Holy Grail War. But, I don't know, it almost feels like it's implying it, like, alright. Maybe he will get... I want to be a hero. Maybe he'll get Saber. All right. Wow. Okay. So that's the end of that, guys. That is the end of uh, Fate Zero. Damn. What an ending. I'm glad that they did kind of do like the flash forward on that because I was like, I need to know. And they're kind of setting things up because we know this is a prequel. Um, of like, all right, this is, they're setting these characters up. Uh, I know Rin's going to be in it because people said that Rin is going to be like in the later games. This kid, uh, Shiru, uh, it seems like Saber's going to be coming back as well. Uh, I don't know exactly if it's going to be exactly as, as that, but I'm assuming so that she's going to be coming back once again as one of the, uh, the servants and, uh, I know it's chosen at random, but like, I mean, come on, how perfect would that be? Is it the Shiro kid? Uh, he ends up joining this Holy Grail War, and then he has the same servant that his adoptive father had. Hopefully they'll have a better uh, relationship. because, <laughs> And we know Saber and, and Carrie did not get along very well. Alright guys, so that is going to be the end of my reaction series of Fate Zero. Overall, of course, I really enjoyed this series and i thank you guys for um 
suggesting it to me. My husband watched it, and when I told him I was watching this, he said that I was probably going to enjoy it, and I did. I loved most of the characters, even the characters that I didn't like. It's almost like a love to hate kind of situation. Uh, like Kiri, like, oh my god, at the end, with him basically thinking like his his wish was for destruction and death and stuff, and he just seemed to really enjoy that. Uh, and, and then Kiri, obviously the opposite. He was trying to save so many people, he's trying to save as many people as he could, even uh, in the Grail, willing to uh, murder his wife and daughter in order to save as many people as possible. And then it ended up being the opposite, and like everybody in the city died except for one boy. I'm just a little confused. There's some things about the end that did confuse me. It was like, I, I don't know if it's just stuff I needed to know, like from the visual novel to understand. It was a thing where it's like, it seemed like he destroyed the cup. But then, like, everything basically, like, got covered in muck and, and everybody died. But it also said that Carrie won the Holy Grail War, but then the Holy Grail was destroyed. So I'm a little confused about that. And I guess Gilgamesh is now being reincarnated. Carrie seemed to be dead, but now he's alive again. And I'm just like, I what? <laughs> okay. So it seems like all the servants are gone, even Saber. Uh, except for Gilgamesh, who gets to live in the world, apparently. Um, so good for him. It seemed like the bad guys won. Uh, I know these shows can't all have a happy ending. And it wasn't all bad. Um, uh, but there was, like, some fucked up things like, oh, Kari at the end. Like, even when I was like, oh, he's been given, uh, at least a, some death and he can at least, you know, not suffer anymore. And then there was that part right at the end. It's like, uh, the writer was just like, extra fuck you to Kari. It just seemed like Kari just like, man, it's like he hated this character where he's just like, he just envisioned himself as, you know, being with Aoi and being the fathers to Rin and Sakura and seeming to be happy for a moment and then it turns out that uh, it was just an illusion and he ended up falling into a pit of bugs while Sakura said that he was pathetic and this is what he gets for betraying his grandfather, not listening to the grandfather. Basically, like, all the stuff that he was doing uh, for this girl and she just... I, I assume she was brainwashed or whatever, but for her to just be, like, not even caring about any of it. And that was the last moment of his life, was just having this girl he was trying to save calling him pathetic. It's like, oh my god, this guy just cannot catch a break. <laughs> oh, and then, oh my gosh, there's just, there's so much to talk about that. Just the fight at the beginning with, with uh, Carrie and, and Carrie was just amazing. And um, it's just like, oh my gosh. It just I love that the action, just like there was no like final words between the two of them. They didn't like hash out, um, you know, what uh, they wanted to say to each other. They were just like getting into that fight. And then like realizing, I mean, the Grail is obviously not a good thing. It was seen to be a pretty cursed looking item. Um, and I was just like, man, oh man, there's just, there's so much that happened, and I'm still just trying to, like, process everything. It was just that sweet moment, too, at the end, with Carrie, like, his whole thing was about, uh, to save the, you know, save as many people, like, sacrifice the few to save the many, that's been his whole thing. And just to have it turned around on him when he was in the Grail, and showing, um, how that can backfire on him. And he, it was just playing it like a numbers game, not realizing what he was, uh, you know, all of the destruction that he was causing. And then right at the end, um, it seemed like what he had done by destroying that grail. I don't think that, I feel like that wouldn't have happened. Like, if you destroy the grail, I feel like that just fucked everything up. So he tried to save as many people as possible by destroying the grail, and then in turn it ended up, he ended up dooming people and killing them. But then he found one person. So it's like the opposite. It's like he killed the many, but he managed to save the one. And that was enough for him to feel like he was somewhat redeemed. And it was so sad at the end where it's like the family didn't let him see Ilya ever again because he didn't win the Grail Wars. It's just like he lost his wife, which he was expecting, but he at least was hoping to be able to get back to his daughter. He lost his daughter, but then he has this kid who seems like he's going to be continuing on the, um, you know, his dreams of being a hero. And, uh, oh my gosh, also at the end with, with Kyrie uh, at Tokiomi's funeral. And, you know, Aoi is alive, but she is just brain dead, basically. She's just like a husk of herself. And um, 
I guess at least she still has her mother, but her mother is, it's almost like she has to take care of her mother. It's almost worse than if she had just lost her mother, but then at least Kiri doesn't have his clutches on her all the time because he said he was going to like visit her again in six months. So at least he doesn't have like sole custody over her. Um, but, oh my gosh, it was just like, it was just a whole lot, but it was, this is a really good series. And you guys have been asking if I am going to be reading the visual novel, and the answer is yes. It's just a matter of finding time in like my time slot of my Let's Plays of when I'm going to be able to do this, because apparently it's a very long, uh, it's a very long visual novel. It's like people say it's about as long as like Umineko. Um, so it might be a while, unfortunately, before I am able to um, to do that, but it is something I'm going to do, so don't worry. This is not going to be the end of me and the Fate series. So if you guys want to just stay tuned and at some point I will get to the, the, uh, the fate, um, visual novel, I promise. And then of course the big question is what is going to be my next let's play or not let's play series, my next, I guess, like reaction series. And I'm going to be watching psychopaths is going to be my next one. Cause, um, based on the description I read, it seems like it's up my alley. It's the kind of, uh, series that I think I'm going to enjoy. And uh, I will be starting that not next week, but the week after, because I am very overdue for watching and reacting to the Madoka Magica uh, movie. So I'm hoping if I have time, that'll come out sometime next week. And I know it's like two hours long, so it might have to be separated into two parts. Um, so yes, that is the plan, is I'm going to be reacting to the Madoka Magica uh, movie, and then after that I will be reacting to the Psycho Pass anime, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me and uh, watching my react series of Fate Zero. I hope it lived up to your expectations. Uh, I do have those questions uh, about some of the things at the end there, so as long as it's not too much of a spoiler, I guess, you guys can explain stuff and then I'll feel even better about this ending because I might understand it a little bit better. But it was amazing. The series overall was amazing. Some characters I absolutely love. Waver, Ryder, uh, Saber, uh, Lancer, just uh, like just so many. And then, like I said, even the characters that I might not agree with, um, I still enjoyed um, their um, like their characters. Like Kyrie just became such an interesting character. <laughs> he started off so boring. I could have never imagined he was going to turn into the character that he did. Uh, and then Gilgamesh, like what a what a smug bastard, but I kind of liked him at the same time. So yeah, I really enjoyed this and I hope you guys did too. Thank you so much for watching and uh, stay tuned for uh, my next React series, of course. If, uh, if you'd like to, you can turn on the notifications for this channel, that way you don't miss any of my uploads. And with that, I will end this series. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to catch you for my future videos. Until then. Special thanks to my top tier patrons Nana, Kaori Makoto, Revealing Storm, Tequila Mockingbird, Jared Fan, Joel Ostman, Harry Gaziff, Pirate, Puncake G, Saya, Asborn Kennedy, Icognito, and Mad Goldsmith.